Welcome to another delicious review. This will be a special review due to three reasons. One is that for the first time I will have uh, a US MRE packed by Americol. The second one is that uh, this is a quite old MRE, so nine years old, 2009. I hope that everything will be edible and this will be okay. And the third one is that it will be not a regular review, but to show you how to make a lunch uh, using such ration or uh, let's say to how to soup up your ration. And this time we will travel to France because using this MRE we will make a dish called Salade Niçoise. Salade Niçoise, so uh, salad from Nice, from this French town. Okay, as you may guess, this is not. These are not all the green ingredients we will need. So let's do the little trick. Ta-da! Let's have a closer look uh, what we have here. We have of course our MRE with tuna and we have boiled potatoes, two hard boiled eggs, a couple of cherry tomatoes, something like 100 grams of uh, green beans which in my case is white, sorry yellow. We have some green, some uh, spring onion, we have also parsley leaves and some spicy additions like olives, anchois and capers. Additionally we will make a dressing which uh, will require olive oil, honey, balsamico and Dijon mustard or any any spicy mustard. So to prepare this you have to boil potatoes, eggs and this uh, green beans or yellow beans and then when it's cooled down, everything is ready for preparing. First, let's unpack our ration. As I told you, this is date code uh, what is this? 2009, 40 second day. Yeah, and the Americal has a double packaging, so very nice for the first time I have this double packaging chocolate chip cookies we have some dessert well we have uh, toffee accessory pack Nice, we have tortillas. I guess the first time I, I have tortillas in Russian. What else? Well, we have two packs of toffee. Very interesting. Fat free mayonnaise. Strawberry dairy shake powder. Marie spoon. Seasoning, seasoning blend. And the main star is albacore white tuna. Great. I will start the preparation with making the dressing. Let's have some Dijon mustard. I will take three teaspoons, which is one tablespoon. This is the base for the dressing. Now a bit of something some acidity this will be a balsamico can be also vinegar wine vinegar and now we are ready to whisk i have uh, greek olive oil and let's start you just mix the acid and the mustard and then very slowly you add the oil I 
I guess I have added uh, something like two tablespoons of this oil. Now we have to taste it. It's quite spicy, so we have to add uh, a bit of honey, kind of light honey. Just it shouldn't be sweet, but it shouldn't. It just to break this spiciness from the mustard. I guess one teaspoon is really enough. Maybe a bit more. Half. If you will add too much honey, you can also uh, just just add more mustard. Yeah, now it's perfect. And now you can see that it is quite thick, and uh, I want it to be spread all over other ingredients so I will add just water just a bit something like one teaspoon maybe yeah look it's much better so that's so this is very easy and very tasty. Just a short look on the accessory pack. Because I have, uh, I guess also for the first time, the spiced cider drink. Moist toilet, matches, toilet paper, salt and chiclets. And this, yeah, has a distinct smell. Let's start preparing our salad. We have the potatoes because these are new potatoes, so I will eat it uh, with the skin. It's no problem for me. For me, they should be really brushed and clean. But I like it this way. You just cut it in four. This is bigger. So I will cut it in half and then in four. Now we will have to chop the spring onion and the parsley leaves. Now let's have some olives and we'll cut it in half, not too much, I guess six or eight will do. Yeah, I like olives, so just eight. That's enough. You can use a different type of olives, of course, without the uh, And I will have some capers. This has some distinct and very, uh, let's say, difficult taste, so you can skip this part if you don't like it. Just one teaspoon is enough. Okay, my beans are boiled. 
they are a bit long so you don't want to put it in your mouth so just cut it in half in something like one inch pieces something maybe in three if it is too long and yeah, just like this they don't have to be even great oops now just put it in a bowl and give uh, let's say two-thirds of this dressing and mix I will not give any salt or pepper because this um, spicy mustard will do the job I have cut also my tomatoes and this uh, boiled eggs let's say in four well they are not boiled enough so not like this semi hard boiled this will be kind of dressing for this salad let's have it on our tray I will make this spice cider drink I will skip this strawberry dairy shake because this will be kind of savory meal and this is sweet so it, it doesn't fit very well to this composition I'm very curious about this uh, I saw many reviews I guess Steve also 1989 reviewed this and it is something really delicious so I wonder how it will taste for me for a person who has never tried it before hmm that smells really good okay I will also use the moist lead now I will touch the food and I have prepared old moist towelette this is made of paper very moist despite it is almost 10 years old very good so let's have the rest we have two bags of toffee chocolate flavored mmm looks like toffee bricks and they smell very nice we have five of them this chocolate chip cookies we have the date code it is even 2008 so this is 10 years old really oh and they are crushed but still some of them survived yeah that's enough and now this tortillas so normally when you have uh, an FRH which is absent in this Russian of course because this is the maybe the only one called Russian in the US uh, you can ro warm it up but since uh, I have here 32 degrees centigrade so it is already warmed AMG yep small G Schultz hi my friend yep and let's try not to break it not that easy but it's okay yeah, is it something left I will not use this fat free mayonnaise because uh, it's not the part of this salad we will we'll, uh, see if we will need salt, probably not yeah and of course our tuna so now it's start to prepare the salad now the final moment I will put this 
salad onto the tray maybe not the whole Yes, now this tuna. Now the moment of truth. If this nine or maybe ten years old tuna is still good, product of American Samoa. If not, then hmm. Look, smells fantastic. So I will put it on the top of the salad very nice tuna meat high quality great and let's have something colorful and our eggs so maybe just one and now our anchois I have uh, anchois with the uh, capers but normally you can just use normal ones I couldn't buy yesterday another version yeah I really like it so I will have four of them but you can just have I don't know one or two but this is because uh, you you want to have something spicy and salty some kind of contrast and uh, the anchoa have also a bit of umami taste which is really good and now let's have a bit of this dressing on the top yep Madame et Messieurs, voici votre salade niçoise our nice salad so US MRE mini number 21 just with some ingredients looks like a real dish and real dinner well let's dig in I will take a bit of something everything so potato tuna this green bean and maybe also this anchoa together with dressing oh yeah baby this is this is good so this tuna is perfectly preserved very tasty you have here a combination of saltiness this tuna taste and also something sweet sour and salty from this dressing this beans are a bit sweet you can also combine this with this uh, egg olives and tomato really nice so it is perfect dish for uh, weather like today so when it is very hot and now I will try this tortilla maybe a bit on its own it is maybe a bit chewy and um, yeah and hard but anyway the taste is very good no signs of stale or something I will lay here the salad yeah half of egg and have some tortilla with salad this is a perfect set so this a little lightly sweet tortilla together with this spicy salad is very good now this cider apple cider now I know what Steve 1989 talked about this is kind of uh, 
natural drink with a slight hint of cinnamon but this tastes like a natural drink so it is much much better than, than the older um, base beverage powders with some crazy colors now let's have one of these chocolate chip cookies they still taste like fresh crunchy no no strange flavors no stale really really good excellent now this chocolate chocolatos the toffees this is excellent actually wow this is still soft it has a rich chocolate and toffee flavor this is something like uh, Tootsie rolls, but softer and better. So this, this, these are the best sweets from the U.S. Russian I've ever had. Let's check out this gum at the end. If it has survived ten years, I have to cut it. Well, what a surprise! I thought that this this gum will be hard and will crush in my mouth, but it is still soft. It is still refreshing, a bit sweet, but it's a very good gum. I have to tell you that it was the best US MRE I've had beside this ribshade barbecue patty and I'm really really surprised that after 10 years it was still really good. So thanks for watching, I hope I have inspired you to make some real dishes using MREs. This was the review of the US Mary Mini 21 tuna and the dinner or the lunch was Saletni Swat and I hope you enjoyed the review please subscribe my channel and Facebook page and see you in the next reviews bye